I feel sneaky as it is, and I feel shitty. I've been feeling shitty since the kiss. I, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what to do. You need to do what's best for you, man. But all I'm saying is, if it affected you, I wouldn't do it. I said what's on my mind, and if he wants to crack on and snuggle Maz on the sofa, then so be it now. At least I said my piece so he knows how I'm feeling. What do you want to do? Like, honestly, what do you want to do? Kiss you. I feel like I'm ready for love. And I... I'm gonna kiss you too. <laughs> but, I mean, I feel like you always put people first, and I want you to be happy. Genuinely. I am when I'm getting to know you. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't win. A part of me just thinks Callum's chucking his toys out the pram a little bit. What do you want to do, man? Look, I never want you to feel up like I, I wouldn't want you to feel some kind of way and He's your friend at the end of the day, and I feel like he's your boy, so if he's genuinely feel some kind of way about it, <sighs> me rolling my eyes, we have to respect it, I guess. I, I feel like I'm, ready for love. I'm seeing a bit. I am disappointed that Warren put Callum's feeling over mine because, you know, I thought this might be my happy ending. But no. I am yours. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, I Wakey, wakey! It's a new day, and for one boy and one girl, it's going to be their last in the lodge. Two people are going home back to snowy old Britain. How are you feeling, bro? I feel alright, Mum. I respect Callum, and I respect what he's saying. It's just frustrating because I want to get to know her, but I kind of feel that out of respect for Callum, I kind of can't. I think he feels like he's been made out to be, you know, a little bit sort of backdoor, a bit shady. And I know he's not that guy, but at the same time, I can see where Callum's coming from and see how potentially it could look that way. I've been close to Warren from the start. He does have genuine feelings for Maz. And the fact he's now going to have to put that on a back burner for the sake of, you know, one of his pals, it sucks a little bit. Just, you know, gather, just gather your thoughts. I mean, you, 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 you're a fucking... You're your own man and you make your own decisions, bro, but just fucking, you know what? Put yourself first for once, innit? I just feel deflated with it all because I didn't think I'd speak to another girl on a level in here and I always said, no more girls. But then me and Maz started talking and it's actually... We are actually vibing on quite well, but... I'd rather keep the peace in the lodge than make myself happy. I'm not selfish like that. So Warren's decided to put everyone else before himself. I wonder if Maz is feeling quite so selfless. Um, it's not fair, and I deserve it, and I'm going to fucking own it this week, like, whatever I have left, and, you know, I'm going to speak to him, and I'm going to let him know. Like, he can't... He, I don't think he gets to call the shots. It's like, you can't... I don't want you, but no-one else can have you. <coughs> and as long as you respect him, I think, then... Yeah. Just let him know what's going on. Yeah. Obviously, like I said, I'll take his feelings into consideration, but if Callum was my friend as well, who'd, I know he wants me to be happy, but I would genuinely want him to be happy, 100%. I do feel like Callum's being selfish, and the funny thing is, like, I understand it. I can understand what he's. I, I can understand what he's feeling. However, it's not about you. 